and welcome to Star Citizen. My name is Evan Lease, and today on 10 Minutes or Less Ship Review, we have the Anvil Terrapin, which is right behind me. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. dive into this ship a little bit but before I do I do want to say I hope everybody had a happy holidays had a good time was able to get some time off even if they don't celebrate anything I hope you all you know just had a great past week um I did so I appreciate anybody that did say that uh but and before we start all as well I do want to let you know that the ship reviews that I do are usually completely stock ships um I review them as you would buy them on the store and spot them for the first time through the Aesop terminal. So don't expect me to ever review a ship with upgrades in my initial review video. Uh, if I ever decide to do a deeper dive into a ship because of the fact that there is a lot of upgrade potential, you'll definitely know the difference between my reviews. Now, um, this ship here, which is known in the community as the Anvil Turtle, <laughs> Because it is cute and it does look like a turtle and it has an armored backing to it just like one would. Um, is a deep space armored scout for the UEE. It doesn't really have much... Damn. doesn't really have much, f you know, function in the game currently as deep space scouting really ain't something that's needed. And for an armament, it's only got two size 2 CF-227 badgers here on the front nose. Which is pilot controlled, but still, eh. Not that great. Um, you're not going to do much with that. You don't have any missiles. You don't have any other guns. There's no turrets. This ship is considered a one to two person ship, which I don't personally understand. It's got living quarters for only one person. It's got enough weapon racks for two people, but only one suit locker, uh, one bed. We'll get into the interior here in a second, though. So this ship definitely, I feel, needs a rework or a redesign of some sort. Obviously, you don't want to take away too much of the exterior design as it is loved by many, including myself. <laughs> uh, it also has VTOL engines. As you can see, my engines are facing down currently. Um, and on screen, you can see that their formation when they're up or down. Pretty cool. There's not too much more to the exterior of this ship. I mean, it is what it is. It's a long-range, you know, deep space armored scout. has long-range sensors, top and bottom. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and move into the interior. Get away from this really alien sounding storm. I picked the perfect spot for this review. As you enter the ship, you do see the seat that you have here for your scanning purposes, which is quite obnoxious where this is located, honestly. I understand the positioning is supposed to be in correlation to the dish on the top of the ship, but it's truly not needed. Um, it's the only ship that really has a seat like that right over the dish like if you see the um the msr it has a dish on it on the right side of the ship but the seat for that is on the left side of the ship which is really uh weird so um yeah this this could move i honestly wish they would put this somewhere else maybe move it over somewhere and then if it is des you know supposed to be a two-person ship they really need to open it up a little bit with where the second person is supposed to relax. The idea that you're going to be taking turns using the bed and uh, taking turns using the suit locker is not really a good idea. Um, as when you're flying the ship, you'd probably want your scanner to be on here, scanning around, instead of sleeping. Because uh, you're not going to transfer, oh, well, it's my time and I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. You go ahead and sit there and scan while we're just sitting here. Uh, of course, you could have the autopilot on, right? But honestly, I wouldn't want to do that. Um, you always want to have a pilot at the seat, even if you're not really flying, right? You have all your component housing available to you here, here. Um, you got a couple back here. Some of these doors are currently locked, so you can't access. Probably just because the components aren't available in game yet. So as you can see there, but some of them are accessible. And that's probably with the components that are in game. If you open this up here, you do have your bathroom uh, with a nice toilet, seating area, shower, and of course your sink. So that's great. Still confused over the one bed. Maybe it's supposed to be a one-person ship, but I've always heard that it's a, you know 
potentially a two-person ship. Uh, you do have enough weapon space for four rifles, multiple handguns, ammo, etc. So that's good. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's it. This is what this ship is. If you want to know what the current gameplay elements of this ship really is, is, <laughs> um, you can do box missions. It's a great box runner. You know, you can do those type of missions. It's very sturdy. It's small. It's fast. It's uh, maneuverable. It can take a hit before it, you know, before you really need to get the hell out of there. Uh, it can't really give any hits. You can't, you can't <laughs> deliver the punishment. You can take a little bit, but you can't deliver it. Um, so you can take this thing to bunkers, you can do box missions, but that's about where it ends. So the price tag, $220 for what you can do in the current gameplay. It's not really a ship that I'm going to keep in my, um, hangar. I have it for right now, but it's probably going to go into my buyback till it gets its rework. Hopefully it does. And hopefully it is slated for one. I'm not too familiar on what CIG has said in regards to that because uh, I promise you right now, um, uh, most old ships, they've said something in regards to a rework or a just a gold standard pass um, or just bringing the gameplay elements in for that. Deep space scouting is going to be something that's a long ways out, though. So let's go ahead and get into the pilot seat. This is a pretty short video, as it should be with this type of ship. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the cockpit here. Pretty straightforward. And this has probably the most MFDs I've seen in a ship in a long time. You literally have eight. There's three, six, seven, eight. There's eight MFDs in this ship, which is insane, but I love it. Um, let's see here. You got your power control, engines. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Let's close the exterior from here. Perfect. Exit. Obviously, there's nothing there. Do I recommend this ship in its current form with no cargo ability? Like, literally, it doesn't carry any SCU. So don't expect any boxes in here unless you're just manually shoving in them there. You can always do that, right? But that goes without saying with any ship. Um, box deliveries and bunker missions and minor rescues because there's no medical bed in here. This would be a great rescue ship if it did have one. Do I recommend this ship at its price point? No. <laughs> the, the turtle factor is cool and it looks cool like it's a very 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 pretty ship I think this is probably one of the best looking small ships on the exterior the interior is a waste honestly uh, but it's just not worth the price point right now $220 come on um, you can't do much with this ship other than what I've already said but honestly you can do everything I just said with a cutter or a hell you could do that with a just a most basic starter like an aurora you can do box deliveries with an aurora you can <laughs> go to a bunker with an aurora you don't need to spend this money just to get the design of the ship what's my score on this thing honestly in its current gameplay and environment with the price point it's if you know i'm gonna give it an extra point for the turtle factor <laughs> uh it's a four out of ten for me personally four out of ten that's just simply put it's just not there. It's really not. There's so many better options at the price. I can get a Taurus for 200 bucks, and that does a million things more. But this ship does look cool. And maybe in the future it'll have some really cool gameplay to it. Otherwise, that's it. That's uh, Anvil Terrapin. Please let me know what you think of this ship in the comments down below. If you have one, plan on getting one, had one, and sold it. Whatever. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.